Sheriff Ray Nash back here with the Dynamic Restoration. Last session, we looked at the rebellious spirit and the character quality of obedience. Gave a very, very careful definition of it, gave an illustration, and gave some examples about how you might um, use it within your training and within the enforcement aspect of your disciplinary patterns uh, and practices back at your home agency. Today, we're going to look at the uh, bitter spirit. That's one level down. Remember, we looked at that downward progression, stepping out from under authority. We had the faithful officer, the independent spirit, the wounded spirit, the bitter spirit, rebellious spirit, all the way down to unrestorability. We're looking now at the bitter spirit, and the countering character quality to bitterness is meekness. Now, don't confuse that with weakness, all right? They rhyme, but that's all they got in common, really, with each other. Meekness and weakness are are not the same thing at all. When I talk about meekness, I'm really talking about power under control. That's a, that's a real attitude of a meek spirit. The, the angry person, the bitter person, they're just, they're anger out of control, right? They're all over the place. But a, a meek person knows how to keep these emotions in check, how to, how to yield their personal rights and their personal expectations with a desire to serve, with a desire to meet the needs and objectives uh, and serve the authority that's over them, whatever authorities that you're representing, whether it be chief, sheriff, organization, uh, constitution, law, etc. We have a, 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 a hierarchy of authorities that we're answerable to and that we represent, particularly in a position of power and authority where we have a badge and a uniform and a gun, etc. These are the symbols of the office to which we hold and, uh, and, and aspire to those standards. We're representing those standards to the people that we deal with. So a meek person has learned to yield those rights and those expectations, right? We're trying to fulfill the expectations of the authorities, not our own. And, and, and it doesn't mean that we can't get personal satisfaction out of what we're doing or achieve our own personal goals out of what we're doing. Of course we can. We're just making those somewhat subservient to accomplishing the overall mission of the organization. That's really what the word submission means. It means being under the mission, right? It's really, it really has a military term. If you study the etymology of it, uh, it, it goes back into um, uh, ancient times where, and it describes an army that is submitted to authority. It's under the mission of the, uh, of the particular uh, army and military campaign that they might be involved in. So the submission, it's not a weak word. It's not a wimpy word. It's not this... Um, what we think about this milk toasty kind of a concept, really and truly, meekness is power. power. And it's the best kind of power because it's power under control and learning to yield those rights and those expectations. Because when you think about it, what is it that makes us angry? You know, and, and anger leads to unresolved anger leads to bitterness. Um, what is it that makes us angry? It's when we perceive that someone else has stepped on one of our individual rights. Let me illustrate what I mean by this. Let's suppose, you know, you're driving, you know, in traffic and somebody cuts you off at the red, you're coming up to a red light, they cut you off and they get in front of you at the red light and you get angry. Why? Because in your mind, you had the right to be the next person in line at that red light and you get angry over it because you perceive that they've violated your personal right. And that's, that's, that's what a lot of road rage is all about. I had a situation right here in Cabo when I was self-driving out you know, down Jalalabad Road, and I must have cut somebody off inadvertently. I mean, traffic here is, is bizarre. I mean, nobody follows any rules. And apparently, they got very mad and angry and started chasing me through the streets. And I didn't know what their ultimate intentions were. And this is a hostile environment, so I took evasive action. But obviously, they got mad, and I didn't even know I'd done anything uh, to them. But apparently, I, uh, they perceived I cut them off. Or let's say you're standing in line at the grocery store. And you're waiting in line to, you know, to buy your groceries. And, uh, and somebody cuts in in front of you. And you get mad. Why? Because you had a right to be the next person in line at the checkout counter. You know, if, you know, if, they, if, they, if, they, um, if they cut in line behind you, you don't get mad. Because now they stepped on somebody else's rights, not yours. You think that's funny. It's when they step on your rights that you tend to get angry. And, and that's true. That, that principle is true in so many other arenas of our lives and within the, the work environment. We perceive that somebody has stepped on one of our rights. We perceive that somebody has you know, challenged our authority and we're taking it personally rather than 
professionally and we get angry. So a meek person has learned to yield those rights. It doesn't mean that we give in. It doesn't mean that we're not firm. It doesn't mean we're not going to take somebody to jail. We're not going to exercise our authority when, when appropriate or we're not going to go physical with somebody if we have to drag them out of a, of a cell. We went through that whole dynamic of compliance here last week where we gave you that pattern of, uh, of professional conduct. But, but the point is we're not taking it personally. And I think that's the key to this whole thing. We, we, we set our ego aside so that we don't take it personally. We're not getting angry. We yield our right to get angry. Right? We yield our right to emotional satisfaction. Right? We defined anger that way in a couple of videos ago. So um, uh, that's the whole idea of a meek person is power, yes, but it's, and it can be emotional power, but it's under control of our intellect and more importantly under the control of our character. It is power. It is not weakness.